I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah, fuck with me. Eat good, live well, stay true. What is going on, you guys? Back with another mukbang for you today. Got the banging buffalo chicken pizza. As you can see, you saw it come together. I mean, it's a little bit of just like a come home from work, kind of buy the ingredients, chuck it together type quick meal. Delicious nonetheless, but you know what I mean? Just store-bought dough and just other ingredients kind of just pre-prepped. Bang, bang, throw it together. Next thing you know, you're eating a buffalo chicken pizza and you're having a good time. You're having fun. Your taste buds are having a party. And uh, yeah, just all is well in your mouth and in your stomach and in your heart. So, I mean, I don't want to waste too much time talking about it because we already know what it is. So we're just going to start eating and I'm going to tell you guys a story time about uh, A, my favorite holiday, which is Halloween. It's just the funnest. And then also my favorite story of my own personal experience regarding a Halloween night adventure turn up time sort of thing. So let's get straight to the goods. On the side, I got a little extra sour cream and some of that uh, leftover buffalo sauce just in case we need to get a little more saucy because you know why. I'm a saucy guy. I've already got the ranch drizzled on here, so we don't need to really get too ranchy with it right off, off the bat, but everything's kind of there. All the players are on the field, ready to play their part, ready to do the thing, and we'll see what it tastes like right off rip here. Mmm. Delicious. There's just enough of that buffalo sauce on the bottom. The ranch is hitting quite nicely. Crust is nice and crunchy. I might hit it with a little more buffalo though, to just just to like bring it up a notch. A little dash of sour cream. We'll see if that's the magic bite. Get a tomato in there for some extra juiciness. Oh yeah. That's on point. Got the red cup, party cup. I feel like it's a very appropriate cup to have given the uh, story time because it was a party night. So the first thing that you guys need to know about me is that, well, like I said, Halloween is my favorite uh, holiday and event. But the thing about me is when it comes to Halloween, I'm very spontaneous. Like I don't plan ahead. A lot of people, there's people out there who plan their costumes like months ahead of time. There's like putting it together forever. I'm a Halloween enthusiast, but I fly by the seat of my pants. kind of just my personality anyways in life but also uh, I've just always been doing it ever since I was a kid like ever since I was able to start making my own costumes I'd always like just before you know the day before or whatever I'd brainstorm <clears throat> go find stuff improvise put it together next thing you know killing it So, I was like 19, maybe, tw nah, 20, probably 20. And it was Halloween weekend, and when you're an adult on the weekend, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, there's Halloween parties. 
you know, at clubs, whatever sort of places. So there was this party at like this club and, uh, like all my, you know, a lot of people that I knew were going. And so I didn't have a costume. But as per usual, I was just like, I'll figure it out. And yeah, I'm going to go and like, we're, like tonight's going to be fucking sick. So I start brainstorming. I'm like, all right, what do I have that can kind of lend to a costume mostly? And then I have to buy like a little bit of stuff. So because I raced motocross, motocross gear kind of looks like stormtrooper stuff. And all my stuff in, in specific was all my gear was black and white. So I was like, I'll just wear that with like my chest protector and everything. I had this like all white, um, like K-Way style jacket, like a very like that thin type material, but it was all white. I was gonna put that with my chest protector over, pants, boots, all that shit. And then I was like, I'm just gonna zip over to Zellers. And they, at the time they were selling these full size um, Stormtrooper helmets for like 30 bucks. And they actually had like adjustable fitting inside to where you could put your head in and make it fit. And then they even had like this like voice transformer thing, like you could hold it and you would it would kind of just distort your voice. So it was pretty shitty, but it would still just distort your voice to some degree. So I whip over Zellers, grab that shit, put it on my costume at home. Getting it all put together. I'm like, yo, this is actually looking sick. Like, it looks like I actually planned this shit out. My buddies at this point have no idea what I'm being. to their house or my one buddy's house for a uh, for a pre-drink session before we go out because you know you got to save that money you got to light it up before you get there and so I roll in looking like a stormtrooper like I can't even they don't even really know who I am but they assume because they know like I was the only one who raced dirt bikes out of them so they're like obviously it's it's him but um so they're, they're all just like what no that's your costume that's fucking crazy that's sick and like I'm doing like the voice like <laughs> All, like all that shit and uh so like we're lighting it up and um eventually we go to like the club i guess this place was like the most clubby sort of place in the city like it's called the rock house and it was actually like you go down and it's like kind of like designed to like look Sort of like you're in a cave, but a nightclub cave. So we go in, like, obviously just, like, bopping around, drinks, shit like that. And, um... There's, like, this elevated stage. Uh, where they were holding, like, a dance-off slash uh, Halloween costume competition. So, I'm thinking to myself, like, you know, some pretty sick costumes here, but mine's pretty legit. I could at least have an attempt at this. Also, I am the most, was, still am, but even then, even more so, was the most notorious, like, drunk dancer. Like, when I'm drinking, I just, 
I can't help it. Like I just start ripping the D floor. Like I just start cutting rugs. And uh, I used to be obsessed with, <clears throat> excuse me, like crip walk videos. So like I taught myself kind of how to crip walk, but then somewhere in that, I like fused it with like sort of like MJ robot slides. And so my friends always used to call me crip bot. So like crip walk robot, it's like crip bot. So I start crip botting, but like up on the stage. And at this time, point in my crit bot career was like the height of my skills technique. So I was like, you know, I was killing it. And um, going head to head with like, you know, some like other crazy costume person. Can't really remember who, but like, you know, where's Waldo's coming at me and shit. And then fucking like Shira and whoever, like whatever sort of, you know, characters. So like, we're just going at it. And it's going on for a long ass time, but at, at a certain point we like draw a crowd, crowds are cheering. I'm like doing like, like hand claps and shit on the front of like, like, cause they're like down low being like, oh, and like, I'm just like slapping hands and shit. But I have like this like stormtrooper mask on. So like nobody knows who I am. So I can be like ultimate ridiculous. So I just go full ridiculous. So after going full ridiculous, I hop like the, like the competition like slows down, comes to an end. It's all done. Uh, there's a lot of ruckus and shit and i'm like i'm hot as fuck i'm sweating so like i just get off stage because like i don't i can't really hear anything like, i didn't hear if i placed or won or whatever so i got off the stage i like go into the crowd i think i went out for like a smoke i came back in and when i came back in some dude runs up to me uh, i guess part of like the promoter of the of the club slash the competition he comes he's like yo he's like you play second in in the competition he's like you were crushing it up there with the moves slash like your costume pretty sick i was like what and he's like, yeah, here you go. And he hands me this envelope. I'm like, dope. So I like, look in the envelope. There's 300 bucks. I was like, what? Like, this night just got fucking sick. Like, I just won three bills and shit. So I win three bills. Keep cruising around, like, with my boys. Like, now I'm just buying drinks and stuff. Because, obviously, it's like, I just... A, I paid for, like, my $30 helmet thing, like, and then plus I made $270 to just, like, drink and do whatever with, because why not? And, uh... So stupid, but at this point, my sister was, like, dating and seeing this guy... And he raced motocross as well. He's like a few years older. And um, he was always super jealous that my dad like was also into racing and like paid for my bikes and like paid for my racing and stuff. Like he always just was like, he was always just trying to beef with me for whatever reason. Like he was dating my sister, but he always was like, because he had to like pay his own way to, to ride and stuff, which understandable. Like I get it. Like that's kind of sucks or whatever. Like I get it, but sorry that... My dad races and likes to race too, and then he got me into it and then pays for it. Like, I don't know. I didn't ask him for it. Like, it just sort of happened. <clears throat> so, he starts chirping me about, like, nice dance moves up there and shit and whatever. I'm just like, man, I'm just having a good time. Like, fuck off. Like... I just want this money and shit. Like, I don't see you with fucking 300 bucks because you were having fun. Like, like, eat a dick, you know? So we get confrontational and shit. And then eventually he's like, he's like, let's, like, he's getting all aggro. And he's like, he's like, let's fucking go. He's like, I'm like, I'm not scared of you. Obviously, like, let's fucking, let's fucking do it. So. We get into one of those stupid, like, in the club tussles, like, in a crowd, like, it gets broken up before it's even a thing, like, you're just, like, shoving each other, and then, like, some other guys get involved, and then, like, it's just everybody's pulling on everybody, and, like, nothing even happens. <clears throat> so, because of me being, like, in the competition and shit and winning, and that, like, and I made myself known to, like, all, like, sort of, like, the, the owners or whoever was running the club that night... They, like, had seen me, but they didn't know who the fuck this guy was. So when, like, the bouncers came over and subdued and everything, like, you guys are getting kicked out or whatever. I was like, man, this guy started this shit. Like, I'm just trying to have a good time. Like, fuck this guy. 
And then the one dude who like gave me the envelope full of money, he's like, he's like, yeah, yeah, this guy's good. Like he, like he's like he's all good. He's just having a fun time. I like I saw this guy just he's fucking with him and shit. And so he gets the boot, <laughs> so he gets kicked out. And then I continue the rest of my night kind of thing for a while. And then you're outside at the end of the night. It's like after the club was done. And everybody just kind of stands around and you're in your costumes and you're like laughing and being ridiculous. And I'm sweating from under my eyes because of this hot sauce. And um, you're like, you know, you're smoking and you're trying to figure out where you might be going or trying to pick up girls or whatever the case may be. And uh, this girl in like a Robin, Batman and Robin, like a Robin costume with like the spandex and like the cape and like the eye thing. comes over and like she's just like all like one of her first things that she says to me she was like like hey like I saw you on like the dance competition you like you were great and like I love your costume stormtroopers are so cool and then she said at one point she goes she goes you know uh Robin has never had sex with a stormtrooper before and I was like well, of course, because they're not from the same movie franchise. Like, how's that possible? Like, clearly, they're not going to like cross over genres. Like, it's two different whole movies. Like, or like you know, it's really impossible for them to do that. But in this scenario, I guess it could be possible. But and she's all like, yeah, and she's being all flirtatious and shit, and like hinting at like she wants to go hook up essentially. And <laughs> sounds weak on my part, but to be honest, like in the in the moment. I just wanted to party more. Like, I just wanted to go, like, to an after party and, like, have more fun and drink and, like, just be with my boys and shit. Also, she was, like, I'm just going to be nice and say, like, she just wasn't exactly my vibe at the time. Like, she was, like, all right or whatever, but not, she wasn't worth me, like, just giving up going and having the fun that I felt like going and having to, like, go deal with because... She just wasn't, like, that that hot, so, um, so I just, like, didn't do that, and then, uh, I just went to a house party after, and I just continued to, to drink and just be ridiculous, and, and, uh, revel in the earnings, in my cash earnings, and uh, second place finish in the, in the dance comp and just how like the whole day was so random but it came together in such like a hilariously dope p perfect way oh, it was sick it was a very fun night mainly just the dancing and the winning of the money the rest of it is like pretty whatever but All in all, it was a good time. All right, well, I'm not going to eat any more of this, mainly due to the fact that, and I've already been pushing it way too hard on this channel with, like, with the shit I've been eating, but I have to go to a wedding next, or this week, like, Saturday. And, uh, I just, I really need to, like, fast for a few days just to, like, feel a little, I mean, when you roll up, you just want to feel a little tighter, you know, and you just don't want to have that, like, days and days of garbage bloatiness, but we'll see what happens. I, I don't have much self-control, so. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Till the next one, you know what to do. You got to eat good. You got to live well. You got to stay true because you ain't got shit else in this world other than your truth. So live that shit. All right. Peace.